In my experience with real estate, I had ownership in almost 100 residential rental units. And in that time, I experienced some real nightmares. The worst of the nightmares were when my tenants would not only stop paying rent, but they'd also destroy my property and they would fight and drag it out as long as possible. When they would tell me a lie and I would buy it. And then the next month would come around and they would build on it or tell me something else had happened. And by the third month of this happening, I was realizing, oh no, I've done it again. I've fallen for it again. And by that time, they owed me three months rent and I hadn't even started the eviction process. And many times, not only would they stop paying their rent, they would be on drugs and doing illegal activities. And by the time we got them out of the property, they had cost thousands or tens of thousands of dollars worth of physical damage to the property. Not only were they causing damage to the property, but they were certainly taking peace from my life, joy from my life. See, I still owed on the mortgage. I still owed property taxes, insurance. Problem is there was a lease. I'd have to go through the legal processes of getting them out. These were really difficult times because I wasn't in control of my property. I leased the property to the wrong person and it costs me greatly. Guys, we let the enemy in. He gains ground. He might gain it in here. He might gain it in here. He might gain ground on our phone. He might gain ground in our bathroom, in our bedroom. He might gain it in our car. But it's like once we let him in, it's so difficult to get him out. Once we've given him permission once, then he's there. He has rights to that property. And it's very difficult for us to remove him and gain our rights back to gain our freedom back, to gain our joy and our peace and our love. He is robbing us of the fruits of the Spirit, of the treasured relationship with God. He is robbing us of those things in plain sight. I had let the wrong tenants in. I had signed a lease, giving them rights to what I owned. Satan is a roaring lion seeking to destroy you. He's not a good tenant. He will not take care of your property. He will destroy you. And it is absolutely necessary for you to identify if he occupies ground in your life. We need to take possession back of the ground that we let the enemy into.